we've got a very interesting drainage project for you today. This one's a little more complex than some of the others, so I'm going to actually talk you through it before we actually do it. What we've got here is the water is supposed to drain right on down through there. There's a sewer drain open uh, at the end of the next lot over. The previous owner here has built this landscaping. Now, obviously, we can't get too deep here because we've got AT&T cable here. We've got a lot of utilities right here in the area. So this is going to be a little bit of a challenge. But we've got to get that landscaping out, get this leveled out so that the water can run right on down through there. So I'm going to try to use the loader and the uh, tooth bar to dig that out. The back row obviously would be best, but I can't dig very deep anyway, so we'll just have to see what we can do to get these out of there. We'll get started. What could be more fun than that? Yeah. Yay. I'm not sure he thinks it's exciting though. <laughs> Just like always, Christy has to do the real work. Have I got it? Although you can't see them, the heavy hitch tooth bar saved the evening. Without those teeth, I don't think we could have gotten the bushes out. Johnny, are you still in there? I don't know. He's covered up pretty well. You think so? Yeah. Well done. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny could sink those heavy hitch teeth right into the root ball of the bush and pull it right on out of there. If you want your own tooth bar or anything else from Heavy Hitch, remember you get a 5% discount at heavyhitch.com when you use the coupon code TTWT. It may look like he's just playing with the bush, but he's trying to get as much dirt off as possible. What do you want me to do? Help me get those things in the bucket. Come on in. Okay, raise it up. Tilt it, tilt it, torch it. Tonight, we're gonna be able to get these things out of here and I'm gonna be able to get this roughly to where I think water should flow, but it's still too wet to till. I don't know if you realize. Yeah, I figured. I can hardly even go out across there. I don't know if you know, I'm stuck every time I get out there. It's wet there. So we're looking past this first telephone pole. By the way, I don't think I've ever worked with so many uh, colored flags no, around. right, they lit it up. I think every utility in the whole neighborhood goes right through that one landscaping pile. But there looks like there's a hump between there and the, and the actual uh, spot to go. <laughs> you did a really good job, Christy. Thank that you. That was kind of difficult because it wasn't, it wasn't well, standard. Work. And I've never done that before. Right. You did good. The pipe smelled terrible.
might fix its problem? Much, well, I hope so. I'm, I'm very optimistic. So it's way too wet to till tonight. Yeah. We'll have to come back. You even have a remote control. Yeah, so this is the first time I actually used it for real. Why is it clicking? What did you just spray? So this is PB Blaster Lubricant. So it's different than the regular PB Blaster. You know, more of a lubricating oil. Okay. It worked. Yeah. What are we going to do if it doesn't raise it high enough, Christy? You're going to. Is that, is that you're, when you get up in there? No, you're going to get up there and uh, break them off. Well, hold it. I run the power equipment. That's our deal here. Well, I can see that this is only pushing it with your thumb, so I can do that. Oh. Oh, there she comes. Oh, he's going to slide. Oh, they're both going to slide. There you come. Boy, that took a minute. Awesome. That's very good. If we get Johnny in here, we'll pile those up a little bit. And then, on a less windy day, we will have a bonfire. Yeah.